so what have we done till now so we had taken a space a which belonged to space x and then we constructed relative chain maps taking c and x modulos c and a that is chain complex of a subspace which we wrote like this c and x comma a so corresponding we now we fill up the figure from c n we can go down to c n minus 1 a c n x we can go to c n minus 1 x and from here we can go to c n minus 1 x comma a now what we get is a chain complex uh, this is a uh, transpose of the figure of chain complexes a b and c which i just drew a few minutes ago yeah so this is just nothing but a transpose figure so let us write this as chain complex a this is chain complex b and this is chain complex c so we get a long exact sequence of homology groups so since it's an exact sequence then image of delta is equal to kernel of delta so first we write h n a then we should write h n b but h n b b is here is x and then h n c but c here is x comma a then reduce index by 1 so h n minus 1 a so this way is convenient to write because we are just copying a to a x to x x comma a to x comma a all the way down and we are just reducing n by 1 so we have n in the first row n minus 1 and everything ends here in h 0 because h minus 1 of a is 0 we have assumed the homology groups are trivial and negative dimension so i want to make an important remark so what does this h n x a do the h n x a measures the difference between the homology groups of x and homology groups of a so assume that for example if h n x comma a is 0 and h n minus 1 h n x a is 0 and h n minus 1 x a is 0 so this is 0 and this is 0 so we get an isomorphism yeah so if there is no difference we get an iso so in that sense h n x a measures the difference so now i want to talk about reduced homology so the important point is this that this relative homology reduced and other the general homology are the same this is true for all n so why does this happen so i mean obviously we assume a is not empty so you, we have this chain map from a b c yeah we draw the same figure again and you know for know for reduced homology we always append z ring of integers at the end so let us do, do that here also so in dimension minus 1 so let us first draw the arrows so in dimension minus 1 we append integers here for b also we append integers but for c notice that we are not going to append integers but zero 
Now we just draw maps. So for C we have not done anything special. Therefore the reduced homology group of the C should be same as the original homology group that is not reduced. Anyway the difference happens in dimension 0 but we haven't appended anything here. So that is why we will have the following. And notice that we are always taking C as x comma A. C is the chain complex associated with chain complex of x comma A that is C and x modulo C and A. So that is the reason why we have this. So an immediate application. So take the pair XA as disk and its boundary. As we have said multiple times, the boundary is boundary of a disk is SN minus 1. Yeah, because if a disk is G2, then the boundary is a circle. Disk is the edge, the boundary is two points of the edge. So we get the following isomorphism. This no comes not from uh, nothing but the long exact sequence of the pair x comma a, where we put the boundary as Sn minus 1. So yeah, that is it. Now let me write it more clearly. So before x comma a comes the x part. Yeah, so the disk dn, this is homotopically equivalent to a point, so you append 0. Sn minus 1 is nothing but a, which is the boundary, so delta dn. And then we go to hi minus 1 to the disk dn again. And then again we say should be hi minus 1 disk dn. This should be 0 because disk is homotopically equivalent to a point. Just to make points uh, clear. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So that is how you find the relative homology group for the disk comma its boundary. So now we will write what we would expect. So this proposition is on page 118. So if two maps, like we have these pairs, if these two maps are homotopically equivalent, then they induce the same homomorphism between the groups. Or the relative groups. So this pair x comma a there is another pair y comma b and f and g are homotopically equivalent we expect them to produce the same homomorphism. So same homomorphism between relative homology groups. So homotopically equivalent maps produce identical homomorphism between the corresponding relative homology groups. So now we want to talk about a long exact sequence of a triple. So there is no point, uh, I mean we can always have another space P which belongs to A and both of them lie in the bigger space X. So then we just replace A with A comma B. So this come from chain complexes, chain AB, which is chain of A over chain of B or chain of A modulo chain of B. So yeah, we have just extended the concept. There's nothing special about it. Again, HN AB would come from C and AB. 
and C and A comma B is nothing but C and A modulo C and B. Similarly, C H and X P comes from C and X P, which is nothing but C and X modulo C and B. So let us write this down at least to make this more clear. Where do these homology maps come from? They come from the following chain map. So you write the chain map like this first. Convince yourself that this is a chain map and everything is what you expect it to be. C and X A is nothing but C and X modulo C and A, C and X comma B is nothing but chain of X comma B and C and A B is nothing but chain of A modulo C and B. So if P is a point, what we get is reduced homology groups of the pair X, A. Now this is just a statement uh, and more importantly we will write down an example 2.18 which will make things more clear. So, so yeah, right now I just want to say if P is a point, what we get is a reduced homology group. So reduced homology for the pair X comma A.